in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 16 to 18. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 16 to 18. The Bible says, Rejoice evermore. Pray without ceasing. In everything, give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you, concerning your family. Shout this prayer upon loud and clear. Oh Lord, supply your needs to me today. In the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, supply your needs to me today. In the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, supply your needs to me today. In Jesus' name. Hello viewers across the world. You are watching Evangelist Joshua TV. We are looking at the topic, five tips that can attract the blessings of God. Five tips that can attract the blessings of the Lord. The Bible says, The blessings of the Lord make it rich and added no sorrow. The blessings of the Lord comes with wisdom. The blessings of the Lord comes with joy. The blessings of the Lord comes with happiness. The blessings of the Lord comes with protection. The blessings of the Lord comes with knowledge. The blessings of the Lord comes with growth. The blessings of the Lord comes with good news. The blessings of the Lord comes with prosperity, comes with success, comes with victory. If you are lacking any of these divine blessings in your life, then you need to do certain things that can attract the blessings of the Lord in your life. The Bible says, if you love the Lord, then you have to keep his commandment. You have to keep his commandment. If you love him, keep his commandment. So we are going to tell you the five tips that you can do as a child of God to attract these blessings of the Lord towards you naturally. Naturally to attract, to bring, you know, to activate the blessings of the Lord or to activate the angels of blessing to you. Maybe in your marriage, you are looking out to God for the blessings of the Lord in the area of fruitfulness. Maybe in that same marriage, as a man, you are believing God for wisdom. You want God to give you wisdom in order to manage your home effectively. Maybe in your ministry, you just need that wisdom of God. You just need that understanding of some spiritual matters. Maybe in some areas, you just need God to boost your faith. You just need God to boost the way you relate, you know, to boost your confidence in order to relate better with God. People. I pray if you are lacking the blessings of the Lord in some areas of your life, I pray may God Almighty provide all his needs to you in Jesus' name. I want to let you know that peace is among the blessings of the Lord. Peace is among it. And I, I pray the Lord will give you peace in Jesus' name. So the number one thing that you can do that can attract the blessings of the Lord is obedience. You have to obey. Obey the instruction. Obey the commandment of the Lord. Obey your parents. Obey what the elderly are saying. Obey. Be obedient. As a woman, you have to obey your husband. As a husband, you have to obey the instruction of your wife, the instruction of your pastor. If you obey your parents, the Bible says you will live long and you will prosper. Praise the name of the Lord. The Bible says in the book of Isaiah chapter 1 verse 19, Isaiah chapter 1 verse 19. The Bible says, If you are willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. If you are willing and obedient, that is, if you can obey, honor, and respect people, if you can honor the voice of the Lord, if you can listen or aching to the voice of the Lord, you shall eat the good of the land, which means that you shall going to eat in many you are going to accomplish so many things. The blessings of the Lord will come upon you. You eat the good of the land. The inheritance, the divine inheritance, what God has made provision for, you will inherit them. If you are willing and obedient, spiritual obedience, physical obedience can attract the blessings of the Lord towards you. Are you a child of God? You are disobeying people, disobeying instructions, disobeying advices, disobeying warnings. Are you a child of God? Anything that they told you, you always disobey, whether the thing is good or bad. No. If you want to live long, if you want to eat the good of the land, if you want to possess your possessions, the Bible says you must be willing to obey. Obey. Heed to warning signs. And the Lord Almighty will bless you. And may the Lord Almighty give you the spirit of obedience in Jesus' name. 
in the book of Deuteronomy 28 verse 1, the Bible says, If you hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord, and observe and do all his commandment, which are commanded by the Lord, you observe it, you obey all the commandments of the Lord, you are hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord, and you observe everything that the Holy Spirit told you in your dream or anywhere. And the Bible says, Then the Lord will set you on high above all nations of the earth. The Lord will set you on high above all nations. The Lord will lift you higher. You'll be in control. You'll be in charge. Just like the Holy Spirit is telling you to plant maize. And you obey that voice. And you planted maize. And after some time, the maize germinates. You begin to plug maize. What does that mean? It indicates that you have, you have listened to that voice. You have obeyed. And you have done what the voice asks you to do, which is the Holy Spirit. And you are going to reap massively as a result of your obedience. I pray by the grace of God, may the Holy Spirit give you that grace, that anointing, to differentiate between the voice of God and the voice of man and the voice of Satan in Jesus' name. In her, be obedience. And when you are obedient to man, to God, and to people that matters in your life, the Bible says you will reap massively and you will do greatly in life in Jesus' name. Number two tips that can attract the blessings of the Lord is love. Can I hear you say love? Love. Love is very powerful. We need love in our business. We need love in our ministry. We need love in our relationship. We need love in our marriage. Without love, there will be no mutual understanding. There will be no mutual relationship. When there's no love, relationship suffers. When there's no love in marriage, that marriage suffers. So one of the areas in which a child of God can attract the blessings of the Lord is when you love other people. Love others the way you love yourself. Show your compassion to them. Sacrifice some things to them. Love them. Share gifts. Be committed to them. Love them. Try to know what they are passing through. Intercede for them. Pray for them. Assist them. Help them. Support them. Do not see your brothers crying in pains and begin to turn your face to the other side. The Bible says, For God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son, his only begotten son, to come and help us, to come and show us the way. We all need to love our brothers. Be our brother's keeper. The Bible says in the book of Ephesians chapter 5 verse 2, Ephesians chapter 5 verse 2, the Bible says, And walk in love as Christ also hath loved us and has given himself for us as an offering, a sacrifice to God for a sweet-smelling savour. We must love God if we must attract the blessings of the Lord. Love. Love does not hate. Love is good. Love is kind. Love does not hate. Love does not envy. Love opens the way. Love can give. Love can bring connection, can associate with other people. When you love, then you are attracting the blessings of the Lord. The Bible says, if only you can love this person, then your Heavenly Father will show love to you. No matter the condition of life you are, maybe you are rich or poor, find time to love. Love people around you. Try to check on people from time to time. Check on your parents. Check on your brothers and sisters. Check on your friends from time to time. Hello, how are you? I just want to check on you. I hope everything is fine. Love. Give out gifts. Share. Distribute food items. You know, provide financial support. Somebody must not come to you and ask. When you discover that somebody does not have a particular thing and you have that thing in possession, why can't you open your hands and extend that heart of love towards person? And the Bible says, if you can love wholeheartedly, then God Almighty will love you in return. And when God loves you in return, what happens? He begins to supply every other need to you in the areas of joy, in the areas of peace, in the areas of happiness, in the areas of wisdom, in the areas of protection, in the areas of knowledge. The key point is that you need to love your brothers. Stand in God for them in prayers, intercede for them, and as you love them, the blessings of the Lord will come to you naturally and to surprise you. Love people. Are you praying to God for a particular thing? Just create time to love people. Buy gifts, share things to them, you know, have communion with them and it will surprise you what the Lord will do for you. Share that love today 
And by the grace of God, you will never regret it in Jesus' name. Number three things that you need to do to attract the blessings of the Lord is giving. Giving. It is very unfortunate that many children of God are not givers. They are not givers, but they want to be the only receivers, but they, they don't want to give. Giving. Open doors to your blessings. Giving. Open doors to your breakthrough. Giving. Open doors for your answer prayer. When you don't give, you are automatically shutting the door of your blessing against your own self. Giving. Open the blessings for the Holy Spirit. You know, giving. Open the channel for the blessings of the Lord to locate us. The Bible says, if you can give, then what? What will happen? You will surely receive. When you sow, definitely you will reap. Not only what that you sow, you will reap massively. If you sow a seed of mango, you are not only going to reap a mango, you are going to reap many mangoes. So therefore, you must give out. Give out. Even though you have the last money in your pocket and God is telling you to give out to somebody in your church, you discover that this person is suffering. You discover that this person or this woman has been in pain. This woman has been nursing so many problems. She has been disappointed. And you discover that the Holy Spirit has been telling you to give her something. Why can't you give her? Maybe the Holy Spirit told you that you give a beggar money. What can't you give her? Those are things that can attract the blessings of the Lord towards you. In the book of Proverbs chapter 11 verse 25, Proverbs chapter 11 verse 25, the Bible says, The liberal soul shall be made fat. He that watereth shall be water himself. He that watereth. If you water a ministry, the ministry will water you. Meaning, the ministry will bless you in return. When you give a person, and you are expecting that person to bless you in return. It does not go that way. You are expecting you have been giving a particular woman money. You have been giving a particular man money. And you think that when you are also broke, that same person will also bless you. No, they don't. giving doesn't work that way. God can use you to bless somebody. And another thing can come as a form of blessings into your life. It's possible that the person will return his appreciation and um, by giving you or helping you in return in the future. But it's so possible that God can do something great for you and God can prepare a big breakthrough for you in the future. And once that big breakthrough come, it will surprise you that those things are coming to your life as a result of your cheerful giving. Giving to people. People who are in need. People who are less privileged. People who don't have anything to have. People who don't have anything to eat. People who don't have anything to, 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 to have as hope. You bring hope to them. You restore their hope. And God Almighty for refreshing you in Jesus' name. The Bible says, Give, and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, press down, shaking together and running over. The measure you shall give shall be given back to you. Even more, more, give. I encourage you, that man and woman, and I encourage you to give. Give. Give open doors. Give attract the blessings of the Lord towards you. If you are believing God for financial breakthrough, give. If you are believing God for marital breakthrough, give. If you are believing God for peace and stability in your life, give. If you are believing God for front of the womb, give consistently. If you are believing God for wisdom and clarity, focus, direction, give out. Give sacrificially. And when you give, definitely, you will surely receive mightily in Jesus' name. Number four tips that you need to do to attract the blessings of the Lord is investment on people. Investment on people. Invest on people. Invest on their education. Invest on their education. Invest on their life. Invest on their destiny. Do you have somebody whom God is directing you to, to invest on? Why can't you invest on that person? Through scholarship, invest on people. God can just decide to tell you you should adopt a baby, adopt a child. Train that child. That's why the fact that you don't have a child or you have a child, but you are investing on people. You are investing on that person. You are investing on your staffs. You know, investing on them. You know, bringing out some, some programs that they need to train them, themselves on. Invest on people. Do not look at the money in which you are using to invest on them. But in the future, it will speak. If those people are not in the best position, you know, to bless you, God, in one way or the other, He will bless you in return. Invest on people. 
invest on people, your friends, your family, invest on people. Spend time on their talent. Could there be anyone that you know that this person has a talent on something? Why can't you invest? Why can't you sponsor that person? Why can't you train that person? Why can't you do something to upgrade the knowledge of that person? Once you can do that, I am telling you that God Almighty will bless you in your returns. It does not matter when God is telling you to pay the school fees of somebody, of a man or woman, and God is telling you without any interior motive. Why not? You can invest on education, you can invest on his education, you can determine that God, every year I want to be paying our school fees. Why not? Then after that year, you stop. You are investing in the future. By the time the benefit will come, it will come in, in abundance. And I pray, may God give you that spirit of investing on people in Jesus' name. The Bible says, Greater love hath no man than this. A man laid down his life, sacrifice for his friend. A man, a good man will see a person that is suffering. A man will see a person, a good man will see a person that is suffering. A man that does not have anything to do. A man that has good talent. A man that has potential greatness in him or her. But you as a person, you discover that this person has great talent. This person has a brighter future. And you take it upon yourself to train that person. You invest on that person. Invest on their future. And by the time God will have it, and God will see that person through, that person will never forget you. Train. Train. Develop and upgrade people. And as you do that, nature will never forget you in Jesus' name. Number five tips is gratitude. Gratitude. You need to show gratitude to God. God has been helping you. God has been supporting you. God has been doing so many things for you. The one you see and the one you cannot see. You need to show gratitude to God. When you show gratitude to God, it will attract blessings. Numerous blessings to you. Show gratitude to people that have helped you. Or those people that have making that intention to help you. Show gratitude to God. Show gratitude to people who matters. Appreciate people. Thank them. You know, do not take some things for granted. Somebody has been helping you. You know, you have been expecting much for somebody and that person gave you less of that your expectation and you refuse to return back with times. That means you are an ingrate person. So sorry to say, you are a person that does not value little things. And when you don't value little things, you will not get that little blessings again. They say a little drop of water make a mighty ocean. In your life, God has done so much for you. Why can't you open your mouth and say, God, I thank you. I show gratitude to you in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says in the book of Psalm 106 verse 1, Psalm 106 verse 1, Praise the Lord, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his love and mercy endures forever. Praise the Lord, the Lord is good. Thanks him, praise the Lord, the Lord is good. Thank him because he has done so much for you. His love and mercy endures forever. I pray, all these points that we have highlighted, I pray, if practice faithfully, and I pray by the grace of God, that blessings you are yet to receive from the Lord. I pray by the grace of God, that blessing will come to you in Jesus' name. Close your eyes, stay prayer for number one loud and clear. Lord Jesus, direct my path to my destiny helper this month. In the name of Jesus. Lord Jesus, direct my path to my destiny helper this month. In the name of Jesus. Lord Jesus, direct my path to my destiny helper this month. In Jesus' name. Two, agenda of wickedness to trap my blessings, fail woefully in the name of Jesus. I gender of wickedness to trap my blessings, fail woefully, fail woefully in the name of Jesus. I gender of wickedness to trap my blessings, fail woefully in Jesus' name. Problem number three, lastly. Oh Lord, let your mercy on me remove every problem in my life in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, let your mercy on me Remove every problem in my life. In Jesus' name, it is done. Amen. I am sure that this broadcast has been a great source of help to you. Why can't you share it to your friends and family? Once again, this is Evangelist Joshua Oreke. God bless you.